Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk about uh, part of the new PDS standard related to um, uh, geometry data and point out here that uh, this was a project that was co-led by myself and Mitch Gordon and the other team members including Boris who just spoke uh, were part of that team. So um, PDS4 has been mentioned a couple times during this uh, workshop. And what that is is the new standard for archiving within PDS. Uh, it's based on a rigorously defined information model. Um, data structures are limited to basically tables and arrays from which you can build up more complex structures. And the metadata that will go in the PDS4 labels are implemented in XML. So far, the Lattie mission has used PDS4 and the Maven uh, mission with first release in a couple of weeks is also using it. So the geometry model is a subset of the information model. Um, previously in PDS3, geometry data has been anywhere from in data sets absent to very well defined. Sometimes it's in the labels, sometimes it's in an index file. Some data sets like Omega from Mars Express and CRISM from MRO have backplanes where they define geometry for, for uh, every pixel in an image. And I know Mars Express um, developed a set of software to calculate geometry parameters uh, that supposedly every team uh, was supposed to use. But we believe that uh, in our approach, we'll uh, provide some standardization of what metadata for geometry goes in the PDS labels. And with that standardization, it should enable uh, more consistent harvesting of uh, geometry information to support uh, people building uh, search tools uh, for data discovery, and hopefully also enhance the ability to uh, uh, analyze and interpret the uh, observational data. The way we went about this was to drive a set of requirements where we went and talked to data producers, the research community, People will build uh, search tools and took a survey of existing geometry data to figure out what types of um, uh, data we wanted to include. What we found in driving our requirements is that there was really no way to find one uh, set of structures that fit all types of missions. So we've divided things up by orbital missions versus landed missions, and there'll be classes to deal with Earth-based uh, telescopic observations. I won't go through all these in the interest of time. Another important thing is that we include uh, uh, ways to specify the data source. So if you took your data from SPICE files, you specify which SPICE files, um, what the coordinate systems involved are, if you've done light time corrections, what those are. And we'll also provide a mechanism for updating the geometry data as needed. So very quickly, in the interest of time, just a couple slides to show you the difference between landed missions and orbital missions. So for, a, say, a rover mission, this is the model of one of the MER rovers. Of course, the spacecraft moves across the surface of the planet, and you need to specify its location as a function of time. Typically, uh, for US rover missions, say, a site is, is defined relative to the previous site, and there's a chain backwards. You need to specify the orientation of the rover as a function of time. Uh, we have uh, classes to specify camera models to do analysis of stereo processing and, and other uh, uh, processing related to camera pointing. And um, uh, also information on the arm and um, uh, tools as a function of time. For orbital elements, uh, we have classes related to positions and velocity vectors. Uh, so you could uh, specify vectors of the spacecraft relative to the Earth, Sun, and, and its target. Uh, if you have multiple targets, so you're looking at Saturn and some of its moons, you can uh, repeat those set of classes to, um, to specify the geometry for the main body and any other bodies that might be in the field of view. Um, and then to finish up, because I got the one minute signal here, um, the, uh, the model is pretty much complete for landed and geometry, at least the first version. It's been sent to the engineering node. Hopefully they will post it uh, pretty shortly. 
Uh, and when it is posted, if you're interested, you can find it there. Just go to the PDS4 site and look for the schema. Uh, there is a project led by uh, Santa for the International Planetary Data Alliance that will be reviewing the whole PDS4 model, including the geometry. Um, and the first mission really to use this will be the InSight mission uh, for Mars. And we're uh, continuing to work on Earth-based telescopes. Now, there might be a question, if I could answer it. Uh, someone might ask about uh, map-projected data. And PDS is also working on, uh, based on the FDGC standard, um, a set of classes that define metadata for map projections. All right, that's it. Thank you.